All right, guys. Uh, we got BK Two Ball in here alongside Ya Boy Critical, and well, today, today we're gonna be talking about the many positives, but more importantly, the flaws found in the Halo Reach beta, and what Bungie needs to do to fix the game. And hopefully, this message reaches Bungie. All right, all right here we go. Ya yeah, Boy Critical, what do you think? I say we should start out with the DMR. It seems like they tried to make the design similar to the BR, but how it feels is the exact opposite way. What do you think? Um, the DMR definitely is far from the BR. It's lost its competitive aspect, having such a large boom and having such overpowered grenades. Uh, people rarely have DMR to DMR battles, and nobody gets out DR'd. And it's definitely lost its competitive feel from Halo 3, where you would OBR your opponent and be the better player. Uh, so, uh, what do you think about the DMR? I personally do not like it, and I find that it ruins the feel of this game. Um, I am actually starting to get used to it now. I'm starting to think like this is Halo 3, sort of rapid firing it, getting them to one shot. But what I think is it really matters when they're Shields are all the way down, it's their health. That's when I steady and try to go for the headshot. And I've been doing all right with it. Yeah, I understand that, but it's far too hard to get montage clips when it takes so many shots to kill each person. I... And it is practically impossible to kill more than one person at a time with the DMR because the clip is also quite small. It, I find it impossible to reload in the time that you need to get an overkill. Exactly. Plus, you have kids sprinting at you like they're on crack and doing that double melee thing, which is the cheapest thing, in my opinion, in this beta. Me melees definitely need to get slowed down because though they do increase the pace of the game, which I enjoy, when somebody has a mid-pace to their gameplay, it totally ruins it because you can counter a sword and beat the guy down twice in the time it takes him just to attack you. So, pretty much beat downing is stronger than sword, and that's not how the game Yeah, goes. what the hell is that? In every Halo, the sword was one shot, but now freaking a beat down can deflect a body piercing sword. Not sure what you're doing, Bungie. What do you think about the Magnum? Good old Halo 1 classic weapon. Magnum is incredible. It is so powerful, but the clip is tiny. If you miss a shot, you're screwed. You have to reload. And in that time, you reload could get a few teammates and you're dead, so... I don't know. They definitely should increase the size of the Magnum. I know it's a secondary, or they can increase the power of the assault rifle. I mean, I hate it in Halo 3. Like, oh, look at that random rushing me with an assault rifle. I'd get pissed off, but now I actually Lost miss it, this one freaking blows. Skull taken. Skull taken. If you've never played Halo 3, then this is definitely an excellent game to start with. It, it is very well based, the ideas are very thought out, but for the competitive gamers, this game is not as good as expected in comparison to Halo 3. Though the hit detection is much better, and the sniper is incredible, there's still overpowered grenades and all that bullcrap that you find in most games nowadays. Agreed, I think the gaming level right now with the games they're always trying to push something new. They don't realize people Skull just taken. want a few things tweaked, like in Halo 3, if I want a new Skull game. Taken. Let's keep the DR. I like to snipe in Halo Reach. It reminds you of the Halo 2 feel, and the registers headshots are sure a lot more. That's a great thing they did. Like I was saying about Halo 3. They should have just tweaked Halo 3, added a few, few things here and there, not completely take out the DR, the like greatest weapon in the game in my opinion and put in a DMR with an incredible bloom Destination. which if someone rushes you they can just double beat you down and you're dead. Skull taken. Skull yeah we already talked about the double beat down then. Uh, it's understanding that that is definitely a flaw but if, 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 as long as the DMR is easily used it, it could definitely hold that competitive aspect but some of the maps in the beta just do not fit competitive. Like, sword base would be excellent if there was a route to the top other than the vent, but having the vent just adds to the camp at the top of the vent and it gets quite annoying. And I do not like the open feel of Powerhouse because it has no sniper and it's much, much bigger. 
Mm, let's talk about the classes now. My favorite is definitely the sprint. It reminds you of the more Call of Duty feel. It's good to get around places, and you can use your gun quickly after. Yeah, I've got a, I've got no problems with the sprint. That's definitely a nice feature. I mean, I understand it might be cheap running around with a hammer or sword using sprint, but whatever. If the other guy has sprint, he can run the opposite direction and counter him. So that doesn't bother me. It's things like jetpack that bother me. They, you can be in your jetpack and you can constant, you can instantaneously fly up to another level that your opponent may not be able to reach simply because he has a different class. Double kill. Yeah. Um. About uh. Camouflage one and the Guardian one, I think they're, I don't know, they're, they're kind of different. Like, camouflage, I wouldn't expect that as a class. If you made that too good, it would be really cheap. But the Guardian, I don't really think it's good. They usually don't get you because you know that they're going to come out. So they're just a sitting duck and you can definitely shoot them with a DMR or pistol and they're dead. Yeah, but whatever, for a casual gamer, none of that will be yeah. Let's talk more about the competitive aspect of the game mm -hmm. that, that will definitely show on something like the Pro Circuit or the Arena Playlist. Yeah, I don't think this Skull game taken. right now in the beta stage, this again is just a beta, Skull many things taken. could change, it's going to maybe not even be the MLG beta. But right now standing, I don't see this getting too far in MLG, like Halo 3 did. It was a great balanced game of skill, except for the host, that's why they played on land. Destination. Talk about some uh, good things in the beta. i say the, the host is a lot better. The yeah, yeah, I like the radar, like, it will be a bright red if it's on the level, and a darker if it's above or below. I think that was interesting yeah, and that's... unique. Yeah, and uh, I definitely like the, some of the new weapons, like the rocket launcher. Uh, the, the plasma launcher is a bit overpowered, but the, uh, the grenade launcher is definitely... The grenade launcher is definitely balanced. Because it is quite hard to use, actually, and as you would think it would be easy, just like a new tube in Call of Duty, it is quite hard to kill somebody with the rocket launcher. So they did a great job balancing that out. Oh, oh, yeah, like about the contrast of the radar. Like, oh, let's start with what I like. I like how it says the automatic callout. Like, we'll be on powerhouse. The like, powerhouse is doing more. What they gotta do is they gotta like so increase the size of it. It's a little harder to see. Maybe contrast to the different colors with the radar. Just a little harder to see. I also think if they added uh, maybe a voice to it, so that maybe it spoke the call out. So sort of the like Battlefield but, that company? And, yeah, similar to Bad Company, but if they added that feature, I think they should definitely add an option to turn it off. Because after you learn the call outs, definitely useless and annoying. Mm -hmm. So, uh, got anything else to say? Um, not really, uh, this message is mainly to Bungie, but it is definitely open to the subscribers. Oh, I, I got something um, else to say, like, this game, okay, in this stage um, right now, you see all these great Halo 3 montages. Fragtality, frickin' Sticktality with their dual team montage. You got Fragtal with his montage. Right. Great editing, and they get their great clips, but, like, I get excited when I get a triple and freaking reach, and, like, happy when I get a double. Like, what is that? I can get those easily in Halo 3, but they're so scarce because of the weapons and reach. It's unbelievable. Yeah, sure. If you don't have a power weapon, you're not getting a multi-kill. Unless you spam grenades and clean up. The DMR simply does not have enough bullets or enough stopping power to kill more than a few people at a time. Alright, that's all I have to say. So, you got anything else you want to add? That, that, that definitely concludes it. Um, it is only a beta, but betas eventually will turn out similar to the final game. So, I, I hope you enjoyed this little, I guess, rant, you could say. Hope this helps uh, the don't community take on posting things on Bungie.net, because that form is to inform Bungie that there is problems with the game, and that could be a game changer. We, we are just trying to put forth all the effort we can in fixing this game so that we can enjoy it when it comes out. Alright, good luck Bungie, good luck everybody else. All right, guys, Have a good you. one.